is that OBI has a mobile computing as well. So you can receive the information on your mobile. So for the people who are, you know, travel a lot, we design the solution the kind of business user. So common sense and intuitive. Another one is pull people go to the reporting desktop or your web server and fetch the information. So another important thing people always think about reporting layer. It's a myth to assume OBI can improve performance. I'm not saying against OBI, but it's a generic report. Uh, a generic perception the people have. People think if I move from OBI to Cognos, Cognos to business object or any other reporting tool, we go on, we get a performance gain of 50%. Or this is how the, the marketing people project it. So that is not absolutely true. The performance of any reporting depends upon your underlying data model. There are many factors which contribute this. So performance is my favorite area and I always love to share my experience in performance because if your reports are not good, if they are not fast enough, naturally people would not like to have it. So if I design simple, in a reporting there are two components, processing engine and presentation engine, right? Processing engine, which is your database and presentation engine. So presentation engine contributes only 10%. This is the statistics recently published. We also do a lot of statistics for our business and always want to showcase that from reporting side we are good. But database contributes 90% of the performance. Your reporting cannot do, cannot perform well if the basic things are missing, index are missing in your database. Uh, performance are not performance statistics are not captured are not captured so there are some major flaws which are database level if these are the flaws continues to happen your reporting cannot be fast whatsoever reporting tool you use so in fact the implementation strategy we start we first communicate to data modeler team database team and explain our reporting requirement and this helps us to understand uh, and helps the business and data owner team to understand that um, what is expected from them because they are primarily contributing to the performance. We prepare, uh, we go for a separate data model. So whatever action item we need to take depends upon number of user, number of data access and various other parameters we take up over here. Unfortunately, as a part of traditional training or even Oracle provide training, they do not cover this area because this is considered as out of the scope. However, uh, we'll be covering this area to the extent that you should be knowing what are the important parameters you should discuss before you building OBI reporting. You know, and if your reports are slow, you should be able to dig out the root cause of it. So, root cause ana analysis requires information and knowledge about the respective database. Ten percent of presentation layer depends upon what is too early memory management and to be honest memory management doesn't require much these days because we have plenty of memory we don't have memory concerns so we don't have to look much into memory management area poorly memory management at presentation layer uh, excessive some of the example I'm going to give you excessive calculation at presentation layer and complex formatting complex formatting features these are some areas which naturally poorly designed reports will perform bad because of poor memory management you are writing you are using reporting as a ETL solution you are doing lot of data massaging calculation you know which should be done in database layer so 90% issues can be handled at design level. That is what the focus area. So before you start working on OBI, you should design your model and architecture in such a way that you are addressing all these issues. Rather, you are designing your data model blindly and you build your reporting solution. 
and your reporting are poorly behaving. Architecture level design is another area we will be focusing on. Okay. History, I'll just talk about history. It, it used to be a company called Siebel. They're into CRM and reporting. That couple of pre-built solutions they have from ETL as well. So they provide more than one layer solution. However, after Oracle acquired it, uh, they acquired entire but their promotion strategy is for more for reporting the best reporting solution. And after Oracle acquired, the major enhancement done in terms of integration. As I repeatedly say, OBI is a one reporting solution for Oracle complete product suite. Maybe your database, transactional reporting, you are working Oracle eBusiness Suite, CRN, PeopleSoft, JD Edward, whatever tool you use, OBI is going to be one reporting, common reporting solution. Therefore, lots of integrations are happening these days. Okay, Oracle acquire the OBI consists of server, ETL engine and reporting. There is nothing much we can discuss about over here. Uh, there are certain components that still we have been using for a legacy application support. Like we have pre-built marketing uh, module. So if you are if you want to implement implement um, Siebel in marketing and finance, marketing and procurement area, they have pre-built a template, a kind of template which you can quickly implement. So we still support that. Uh, we have pre-built RPD, so that is still there for legacy application support. We don't have to focus on to, on to that area. Or again, is is coming up in subsequent in couple of months or quarters. You'll find the plenty of plenty of pre-built solution for each industry, planning, budgeting, finance, procurement, every all the area they are going to come up with a, a ready-made solution. The same concept they are going to use with the SAP. So that is thing that is a dying technology. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, everybody says my product is good, so I do, right? Because I've been working in OBI, so naturally I'm more biased about OBI. However, I got an opportunity to work, little opportunity to work with other tools as well. There are certain areas which I really like about OBI. Uh, maybe I'm a little biased toward this. OBI is indeed an enterprise solution. Enterprise is not on theory. We really work on enterprise. Enterprise means uh, suppose I'm building a data warehouse. Enterprise means you are not subject specific or you are not domain specific or department specific. In a data warehouse, I do have a information data for sales, for finance, for GHR, global human resource, um, for your transactional system, data validation, Your statutory reporting, your management reporting. There are various kind of report we use. We have ad hoc reporting. On data warehouse, either we design report in terms of a business specific solution, like for a world particular department, or we design a solution for subject area specific. Like I'm designing solution for statutory reporting for uh, security exchange commission or maybe a designing report for government bodies or, or my stakeholders, investors. So we have a built-in solution for this statutory reporting. My OBI is not biased towards certain kind of report. We can use OBI for statutory reporting, for management reporting, for ad hoc reporting, you know, transaction reporting, data warehouse reporting. One common reporting solution is designed for various areas. Unlike some other tool, like we talk about Hyperion. Hyperion has separate reporting tool for finance called financial reporting. It's good and bad, financial reporting. For large volume of data, they have got production reporting. They call it SQR. For generic reporting, they have Brio or interactive reporting. 
so for each reporting each kind of reporting they have a different reporting solution however this is not required in OPI one common reporting can be used for various kind of areas that's the beauty of it that's a true enterprise BI it provides full range of analysis we just discuss about analysis and complete reporting capabilities highly scalable I designed my reporting solution for 100 users as a result of acquisition now I got 500 users we can add more server we can scale it, add more server provide load balancing and various techniques so that number of users are grown up so scalability again depends upon 70% on your underlying database and 30% from reporting side your architecture should be designed at reporting layer in such a way that it can support scalability so OBI contribute only 